As we reach for God, he will draw closer. And that's exactly what's taking place right now within the collective, is that many of us are starting to recognize how beautiful and powerful God truly is. And it's on us to reach for him, for us to bring him closer. These signs, these wonders, these things that are taking place around the world, it's not a coincidence. It's because of our faith. It's our belief. We know change has to take place. We know things have to be altered in order to bring back the righteousness to be restored inside of everything. The wickedness has been taken over everything. And it's, it's quite a beautiful image that came to me as to how this video started to come about. It's us on earth reaching up to the heavens, raising our hands above us and pulling him down. We're reaching for God's hand. We're reaching for him. So when we are praising him, we're putting our hands above our head to pull him down. It's because we want to be with him more. We want to feel his glory, feel his, his power. And as we're doing this, that darkness of evil that has been reigning over all of us is feeling the strength of God again, is feeling his, his almighty and it was distant from us because we were not reaching, we were not praising, we were not trying to pull him in. So darkness has had the belief systems that it doesn't matter what they do because we're being controlled. Us, the lower peons to their ideology to who we are, we are nothing to them. So they had total control over everything because we were so locked in their spells and their in their dark magic into their mystic ugliness. But the same can be said true on the other side, that there is magic, there is mystical abilities, that there is spells and powers that can also draw our Lord closer to us. And it's about the intention as to what we're trying to create. Well, when we have been distant from our creator, no wonder we've been shrouded and veiled with all of this deception. And in, in order to get our praise to go higher... We have to move through the deception. We have to move through the spells that have been placed on us. And the only way to do that is to search for God, to find him, to, to bring him towards us. And if we're not willing to do those things, well, why would God react? Why would God even come here? We're not doing anything that changes. We're, we have to change in order for God to come. And if we're not willing to change, why would he come? There's no point. There's no point for that to even come into existence. But it's the change. It's, it's the mental. It's the physical. It's the spiritual. It's, it's this triad. This, this is who we are. So we have to be able to enhance ourselves in all of these different elements. It's not just focused on one because that's diminishing others. When we are actively trying to improve ourselves in this triad, we are showing to God that we want him to be here, that we want him to show his face, that we want him to proclaim the things that we know to be true. But if the world at large is not trying to do these things, What's the point? What is the point of him returning, 
of him showing himself and and saying the things that need to be said. There is no point because it won't be it won't be respected. It won't be um, comprehended for what it's supposed to be. But that's not how it is anymore because we are reaching to him. And this vision that I've seen and, and God gave me is that there's so many hands now reaching for him, trying to bring him here. And when that hand does come to us and the pain that is going to be pushed on we can't run in fear. We can't be cowards. We have to know that God's hand is here and and pressing upon the evil to squash them, to, to remove them. Because if it is not squashed and it is not removed, well, that means it's always going to be present. It's always going to be in this control situation. And that's not what it's going to be anymore because our praise to our Heavenly Father is what's helping us remove these distortions and, and take away the, the evilness that's been here. We have to keep looking for him. We have to keep searching for him. We have to keep questioning, is this it? Is this what this is? Is this what you want us to do? Is this what you're asking for me to do in these next steps of life? Yes, yes, that's it. If you are improving yourself, and removing the sins and, and constantly repenting and asking for forgiveness, then yes, God will draw nearer. But if you keep repenting and asking for forgiveness to the same things over and over again, there is no change. You're, you're, you're saying constant. There, there's nothing that's, that's evolving. That's, there's no change in, 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 in any of that. So you also have to play that into the factor as well. It's, we can praise and reach for him all the time, but if we are not changing our ways to become more like Christ, to become more like Jesus, what are we doing then? We're staying in the flesh. We're staying in the mind. We're not doing anything that's, that's evolving us. Praise to him, but change your ways. Search for him and become more. That's what he's looking for us to do. He's looking for us to do these things. And it's not going to be comfortable in these new actions. Because the ways of the old have been so just glamorized with these fake sparkles of, oh, this is it, this is the way to live, this is the way to do it, but all of that has not had God in the picture. And now that God is coming into the picture of view again, all of those old things no longer hold suit, no longer hold what needs to be true. So we have to be able to Say no. We have to be able to say no to the old and yes to the new. Saying yes to the new is giving this decree to God for him to know that we are honest, that we are true, that we are taking away what no longer suits his honor, his truth, his love, because that is the old. The old does not do those things for him. It's all of us. We all have to do this. And that's what strengthening in numbers is, is when all of us start doing this, our numbers become stronger and, and we become unbreakable because we are following Christ and he was unbreakable. Look what he went through and look what he overcame. That's something that's unbreakable, which is what we all can become.
because we follow the steps in the sand of Christ. His prints are already there. His steps are already there. It's not like we have to go create these steps in the sand. Fuck no, they're already there. He's already created them for us. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of what he did for us in this existence, in, in this era, is that it's there. It's, it's follow them, be with them, and you'll find the glory. You'll find what's needed. But the steps of the old are going to be washed away by the waters of the eternal. And Christ's feet, his steps, cannot be washed away by the eternal because he is the eternal. So even as the waves come up the sand line and cleanse what was once there, his feet, his steps are still there. So let the old be washed, let the old be cleansed. Allow ourselves to reach and praise and change and become more so that our Father can be here with us in this massive transformation that's underway. Thank you, everybody. I love you. And as always, enjoy yourself.